Raman Rashid, thank you so much for joining us today. Your film is releasing on October 2nd. So what's going through your mind? Like mm, promotions? <laughs> Are you tired? Like is it very tiresome right now? No, not really. Not really. Yeah. No, we're excited about the film, so keeps the energy pumping. For you, Ram, especially, uh, I understand it's a very important film for you in your career. Was there a phase which you were going through where you were not sure what is working for you as an actor? I think every film was a very important film for me in my career. <laughs> And uh, I don't know, I never sat down and analyzed or whatever, but uh, I just went ahead with whatever excited me. It's it, just went with the flow. That's how I got my hands, that's how I got my flops. Uh, with respect of my success and failure, just go with whatever uh, I believe in. Uh, this question is for both of you. Uh, are you very impulsive about what sort of films or roles that you want to pick? Or is it a very well thought out process where you think about Will I fit into this role or not? Or what is it for you? I'm ex I'm honestly quite choosy actually. I don't want to do films where I'm just a prop. I want some substance in a film if I'm doing it, and if at all, if I choose to be in a film where I'm just a prop for whatever reason, then I will not feel like giving it my best. You know, then what's the point if it doesn't give you that kick? So for me, a role is very important. So you're already seeing the result before you even you even sign the film. <laughs> No, <laughs> no, but uh, you know you want to enjoy. As for me, it's about the process of filmmaking. It's not about the result. If you enjoy it, if you believe in it, you want it to work. But for whatever reason, if it doesn't, then it doesn't affect me in a way because I have grown as a person. I have grown as an actor. That's what's important for me. Success or failure doesn't really go into my head. For you, Ram, what is it? Are you very impulsive or? Over a career span of nine years, I've hardly done any films. So, <laughs> uh, I guess I'm choosy. <laughs> but once I like something, very impulsive. Just go ahead with it. Once you like something, so what does it take for you to like something? I don't know. It's very difficult to answer that because uh, it's just like going into a theater and watching a movie. If someone's coming and narrating a script, it's like I try to watch the film. So if I like it, then I go ahead with it. If I see myself in it, otherwise no. And there are a few instances where I just trust the director and just go ahead with it. You know, that's... Um, honestly speaking, I've done a lot of... Chala mandi, na kanni tilsu and jepi mistakes eko jastar. Na ka 99% sir leh na tili deyam ole and eko mistakes cheetan jargin de. So, ala gado pun jargin. Right. Do you have anything to add to that? Like, in your case, has that happened where uh, you got into something which you didn't want to and then you realized that it was a big mistake? I think it's too early to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just keep quiet about it. <laughs> right. Uh, a lot of people have been talking about your on-screen chemistry in the film, like at least from the teasers or the posters. You, you make a great couple on screen, right? Uh, and I'm sure that was that energy got you going even on the set. So, what did you do learn about each other while working? Honestly, nothing. As is, as people, no. I barely knew him. He looks very surprised for some. Are you? I think All as I as. <laughs> As a person, I don't think we actually got to know each other actually because, because we, we were. Lot, but it was always, it was always about work, about the character. Uh, like I would take his input sometimes, and you know he would like everybody would involve me into everything and, and generally. That's why I felt like it was a family film going on. But uh, personally, we never sat and we spoke about okay, what's happening in your life or you know all of that. So um, we hardly met outside. Yeah. Because we are, we are like the same, almost. <laughs> like, do you know, your work, go back home. You know, the lunch we had, that one lunch we had was for movie promotions with a promotion <laughs> team. We were like, yeah. You two, you two seem to have a very unhealthy obsession with your work and films. Is it a good thing? You know, honestly, I don't think it's unhealthy. Oh, sorry, sorry. Go ahead. No, 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 no. no. He has more of that, and I would not say I have as much as him. Now he can. It excites me. Anything that makes you happy makes you live longer. I think it's healthy. Yeah. <laughs> live longer? <laughs> I think I'll give you my. Okay, so films are not my life. They are a part of my life. I keep saying that. I think films are his life. <laughs> yeah, I heard him say that you spend about 90% of your time just on work, and the rest is travel and friends. Is that so? Yeah, 90% it's always work for me. I don't see work as work. It's exciting, you know. What excites you the most in life? You know, for example, cricket short on Chalamandke ishton. You know, ba. Matha apesi rozon the cricket just sent the bond to the man. 
రోజంత సినిమా రాక్ చేస్తే ఎంత బాగుంటుంది అని అనిపించింది రోజంత అదే చేస్తాను ఐ వెరీ హ్యాపీ దిస్ ఇస్ మై వర్క్ దిస్ ఇస్ మై రిలాక్సేషన్ దిస్ ఇస్ మై ఎక్సైట్మెంట్ దిస్ ఇస్ మై హ్యాపీ థింగ్ సో బట్ ట్రస్ట్ మీ హావ్ నెవర్ సీన్ ఎనీబడి హూస్ యాజ్ ప్యాషన్ యాజ్ హీ ఇస్ ఐమ్ ఆల్సో ఐ ఆల్సో లవ్ మై వర్క్ ఐ వుడ్ నాట్ సే దట్ యూ నో ఐఎమ్ వెరీ లేట్ బ్యాక్ ఆన్ ఇట్ కమ్స్ టు మై క్యారెక్టర్స్ ఐ వోంట్ బట్ బట్ లుకింగ్ అట్ హిమ్ ఇట్స్ జస్ట్ ఐ డోంట్ నో ఇట్స్ సమ్ ఇట్స్ ఐ డోంట్ నో వై గెట్స్ ఇట్ ఫ్రమ్ ఈజ్ ఆల్వేస్ ఇన్ టు లైక్ ఇట్ in do it 110 percent <laughs> you know he makes you feel like you're not doing enough yourself so uh, i think that's a great thing actually 